hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel webox i hope you are enjoying learning web development with us and today we are gonna be learning creating simple web pages using bootstrap and it's gonna be quite easy we're gonna use some basic css html and bootstrap and you are gonna see how we are gonna create very beautiful and simple web pages in a very short time so let's get started and yeah before we start i would like you to subscribe to our channel and please do like our video if you like our videos and want to get more of them in the future so without wasting time let's get started first we will go to bootstrap let's google it there you are so we can simply use the cdn here you will be easily able to find it and after that we are gonna be using the simple documentation and here you will find the components which we can use for creating simple and easy web pages I hope you know that with the help of Emmet we can create simple layout of HTML very easily. If you don't, I will add the link in the description for you guys. Basic bootstrap. So as you can see, I have just linked the bootstrap CDN that I just picked up from the bootstrap website. There you go. I just picked it from here. There you see. You can easily find it anywhere. And whenever you are using bootstrap, please keep a look on the version that you are using so let's go back to our text editor and let's print a simple message this is a basic bootstrap tutorial let's save it go back to our browser and let's refresh and there you have it till now we have done nothing it's a simple basic html which we have been doing so long so now what's the big deal with bootstrap why are we always taking bootstrap as such big thing let me show you let's go back to bootstrap website and there you have a lot of components here we can choose the nav bar and you can just simply select and copy the code and just paste it now let's say go back to our browser refresh and there you can see we have a very simple navigation bar completely ready with us in no time so let's add some styling to it there are many predefined bootstrap classes that you can use for quick changes See, we just turn the light navigation bar to the dark navigation bar. Hope you guys can easily follow up. Now, if we go back to Bootstrap, there we can see many more JavaScript files. These are the scripting files that we have to link. Uh, 
at the bottom of our web page just before the closing body tag. Simply paste it, refresh, and now you can see our drop down is also working. And the biggest advantage of using Bootstrap is it's completely responsive. You can use it anytime, anywhere you wish to. And it's fabulous, guys. I just love it. <clears throat> now let's add a slider in this area. Many customers demand for a slider at our web page. So let's find carousel. There you go. We have a very simple carousel in a very small piece of code. Simply copy and paste it. Go back to our website, refresh, go. So here you may be able to see the slider is moving but we don't have any images there yet. So let's find some images and see it working. Let's go to pixels.com where you can find many awesome images for free. They are completely free to use. Just simply click on free download and there you have it. Let me find its location. It and go back to your element and there you can see image and source I have shown in my previous tutorials about the image tag and other basic HTML tags and I don't think it's gonna be a problem if you are still having issues please let me know in the comments below I will make some more tutorials explaining in detail that how you can keep up with the stuff now let me go back to the images folder and rename the image let's see so here yeah, i'll find other images also it's opti abc and e-commerce let's use these three images images in e-commerce let me just do it and get back to you guys <coughs> so as you can see I've added the images in the IMG tag and now let's try it even I have not tried it let's see oh let me see I have saved the file. Let me recheck it. So guys make sure you have the images and your extensions referenced correctly here. I have just moved the images to the folder we are working in. So as you can see here are the lectures that I am creating for you guys and I have just created an IMG folder here and i have added the image inside this folder so as you can see i just given the folder name and the file name and make sure the extension is correct as most of the people does this mistake of the wrong extension they are using a png image they are using jpg extension they are using jpg extension and they are using the png images so please make sure of it so uh, now I'll show you the page is well running. You can see that. Hope you like it. Hope you keep practicing. And let's become a good future developer. I hope you are following up with the tutorials. Keep practicing. This is the key to become a web developer in 2019. I hope you like my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, share and drop a comment below if you like my videos. Thank you.
see you in next video